YouTube, what's going on guys? It's Mike here. Um, I'm over here, I figured I'd put this in a separate video. A little bit of a story. So more storytelling than, than showing anything else. I'm sitting here in front of my quarantine chicken coop cage and let me pull you guys up. I have something to show you. So this is the newest addition to the, the homestead here. Um, it's a rooster. Let me open up this cage so you get a better look at him. Um, we rescued this rooster. Uh, this is um, this this guy's name is Boy or Boyd. He uh, he comes from kind of an abusive situation. A little bit of of a sad background here, but um, I'll tell you this story. So uh, basically, I'll leave the camera here so you can watch him. He um, he comes from my buddy's neighbor's house. So I was over at my buddy's neighbor, and we were helping you know helping him build a shed. And I kept hearing this rooster, and he, I was like, have you ever seen that rooster? He was crowing and crowing and, and crowing and crowing, and he just wouldn't stop. It was like every, every 30 seconds he let out his big crow that we might get to hear while we're sitting here. But, um, but I was like, have you ever seen that rooster? Like, he, he sounds like, you know, he sounds like he's healthy. I don't know why he's crowing so much, but let's see. Um, oh, I'm trying to keep him quarantined, but some of the hens will come in and, and kind of enjoy his food here, so I'll pull her out of here. Come on, lady. Get out of here. It's not for you. I'll close it back up. So, anyway, he was crowing and crowing, so I was like, let me go, let's go take a look at that rooster. And um, so we go over there. Let me put you guys back up. Ah, oh, here you go. So we, we head on over to the, uh, to the, you know, this enclosure, this little kind of, it was, it wasn't a chicken coop. It was more like a shed converted to a chicken coop, but really in bad shape. You could tell the owners uh, stopped, you know, stopped caring for this place. So we go up and I start talking to my buddy and I say, what's the story, man? What happened? He was like, well, this house was a rental property and um, the, the tenants that were here, they were evicted. They stopped paying their rent, whatever happened, and, but they had chickens. So what they did was they took their hens uh, with them or their hens were, were killed or something happened to all the hens and this rooster was the last one in this coop but they were evicted so no one was really caring for this rooster there was one woman that lived at the house who, who didn't get evicted she was a separate tenant um, had nothing to do with these chickens or this rooster and she was kind of just like giving him water when she felt like or when she could and giving him some bread like not a great nutrition program for this rooster and he was just kind of like like existing he wasn't cared for um, and I saw him and it was horrible conditions, man. This was, this place looked like it had been run down for years and years. Now, um, this rooster here, he's only one year old. So he's, you know, he, he just made it to, I guess, maturity. He's out of his, his baby stages. Um, but he was just completely abandoned and there was no windows. Um, it was kind of in the dark. It was, uh, the, the door was closed. He couldn't get outside for fresh air and he was just stuck in this really bad situation. There was like, you know, 18 inches of just feces and, 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 uh, you know, cobwebs, spider webs everywhere. The water that he had was like black. It was, it was a really crummy situation. And so when I saw him, I was like, look, I'm not in the market for a rooster. I have my hens. I don't have a rooster. Um, but I have to save this guy. So that's exactly what I did was me and my buddy, we went and we grabbed the cardboard box. We threw him in the cardboard box. He was, you know, he put up a little bit of a fight. He obviously wasn't happy that we were doing this, but he, um, he, he really uh, just kind of gave up at, after a couple minutes. Like he didn't have much energy in him. So I got him back. I put him in my quarantine uh, tank here and I looked up online how to integrate a rooster into an existing flock of hens. I, you know, I've, I've, every time I've gotten roosters, I've had them as chicks and they've, we started them with our flock. So they grew up together. But my, uh, my flock here is, um, they're already pretty established. I mean, th this is, we're in the run here. You could see one of my ladies, one of my older ladies here. She, uh, you know, she's just hanging out with me and, and, and doing her thing. But the, if you could see, she's missing her feathers on her neck. That's because the hens without a rooster will really beat each other up. They kind of get nasty to each other. Um, and they need that male figure to kind of snap them into shape. Um, when they get picky at each other and uh rooster or hens and, and birds in general will create a, a pecking order that's natural but without a rooster in place it gets a little excessive and that's um 
that's kind of what motivated me to say, you know what, I'll keep this rooster. I was going to try to rehome him and just kind of give him a better living situation until I could find a better life for him. But after some thinking, talking with my wife, talking with my neighbors, because that was a, that was a consideration as well. I don't want him to annoy the neighbors. Um, they were okay with that. So I said, you know what, screw it. Let's keep this guy. So what I'm doing right now is I'm working on integrating him. So I have him in the quarantine tank. And in the quarantine tank, he's inside of the chicken run so that the hens can come and you can see, here comes one right now. Um, they get to kind of meet each other without the, uh, any kind of, um, you know, uh, interaction and they won't fight or that, you know, the rooster won't try to beat the hens up and the hens won't try to pick on the rooster because he's new to the, the place. He's, he's not in his element. Um, so... What I'm doing is I'm gonna let him live in here for a week. We got him on Thursday, today is Monday. So um, he's been with us for a couple days, just like this. Uh, I, I keep, you know, clean food, plenty of, I mean, clean water and plenty of food for him. I give him a little box that he roosts up on top of. And um, he's just kind of, you know, kind of enjoying fresh air at this point. It's horrible to say that, but yeah, he's just enjoying fresh air and just being cared for. So he's a friendly guy. He's a little bit timid, as I, I would be too, but um, that's kind of the story. What I'm going to do is on next Saturday, or this coming Saturday, I'm planning on um, kind of grabbing him at nighttime. And I've looked all this up, and this is what you know the internet forums tell me. So you guys leave a comment down below if you have some better ideas, but this is what I'm planning. Um, uh, Saturday, so it'll be a little more than a week with him living like this, in the run, integrating with the hens. Um, I'm going to put it, grab him at nighttime and put him in the chicken coop on the highest rung. Um, and, uh, and, and let all the, let him kind of go to sleep with the rest of the hens and, and wake up in the morning it already integrated in their, their coop. And now online, it says that he will just naturally, um, naturally take to his position in the, in the flock. And that would be the dominant male figure and the hens will then respect him and he will just It'll be as if he never was transplanted in. He, it would look like he's already been there for years and years. So um, it seemed a little far-fetched when I was reading it. I was like, how could that be? But I haven't, I have never done this before and I'm gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna do it on a Saturday so that in the morning I can come out and make sure that there's not, you know, a hen massacre. <laughs> he doesn't kill all the hens or vice versa. The hens don't kill him. So, uh, you know, crack of dawn in the morning on Saturday, I'll come out and I'll observe and watch and just make sure that, every, that everything goes well as they begin to wake up. Um, and that's, uh, that's kind of the, uh, the, the plan here, guys. That's the plan on how to integrate this, this, this uh, rescue rooster into the flock. Um, so just wanted to give you guys a little bit of the story, the background. I don't have any footage of his situation. Um, because it kind of happened all at once, but you know, I'll give you guys updates on how he does in the future on future videos. So uh, I'll wrap this video up. I'll put it online for you guys. If you like this this little story of, of Boyd the, the rooster, um, go ahead, give me a like. I know this wasn't the most polished video, kind of just a storytelling, not my traditional type of video with editing. So uh, yeah, like it if you like it. If not, at least like it for how comfortable these, uh, these chickens are. Look at her up there hanging out in the tree. She loves it. So um, yeah, guys. This one, this one looks like it's this one right here is catching a nap. Um, oh, there she is. All right, guys, I'll, uh, I'm going to get going, move on to the next project, and I will uh, catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for coming along. Talk to you soon.